Hey there, pretty ladies. So today I'm gonna show you my mascara routine. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black and my Maybelline Falsies Black Drama. Make sure it's Black Drama. So my first tip to you is to make sure that your mirror is facing down so that you're looking down into the mirror um, opposed to looking directly into the mirror. Okay, you don't want to be doing this because then you will get mascara all over your lids and we don't want that. So I'm going to start off with my carbon black and I'm going to be twisting the wand as you can see. And this is to help make sure that I reach the root of my eyelashes. And I'm going to be touching my waterline while I'm doing this so that I'm kind of tight lining and applying mascara at the same time. As you can see, it's darkening up my tight line. You see how it's nice and black in there and it's not on the other side and this makes your eyelashes appear longer than they really are and it makes them look more voluminous so I let this dry a little tiny bit not completely just until it's tacky and then I'm gonna go into my Maybelline falsies and this is gonna be the mascara that I'm gonna use throughout the rest of the video I love this mascara this is my holy grail mascara I use this um uh, because I love the fibers that it has. Um, there's a different falsies mascara that does not have little fibers, but this one does. Make sure it's black drama. And the little fibers, what they do is elongate. So not only does this make it look, you know, super voluminous, but it also makes your eyelashes appear longer. So I like to wiggle this through from root to tip to make sure that the eyelashes are getting separated and they're kind of where I want them to be. And I never put the mascara wand back into the tube. I kind of just use whatever's on there and that's it. I don't add more. So now I just let it dry a tiny little bit and I apply another coat only to the tips to make it a little bit longer. And I never use a curler, an eyelash curler. What I do is I press on the base of my eyelashes with my finger like this to kind of curl them up but you want to make sure that you're doing this while the eyelashes are tacky not completely dry and not wet then I curve my finger like this and I use the concave side and I what I do is I press this time the tips of my lashes not the base I just press the tips up to kind of curl them a little bit better then I just use my finger to separate them and make sure they're how I want them to be and that's pretty much it so this is my little one eye done one eye not done eyelashes make a humongous difference right yeah so now for my bottom lashes I don't really do a little you know not too much not super fancy what I just do is wiggle it through my first little coat I guess you could say is um, I wiggle it through just to put the product there and also separate them then I just go on the tips real quick to elongate them and that's it so you know we all have different meanings to coats I never dunk it back into the wand I just use whatever is on the wand already I mean I never dunk it back into the little bottle you know um, because I feel like that just makes it clumpy so get a q-tip if you made any mistakes and make sure that the mascara that's on your skin is completely dry then just pass the little q-tip um, over it and it's just gonna completely flake off it's wonderful this is a great little tip do not try and take it off while it's still wet because that's just gonna smear and make a huge mess so that's it you guys this is my little before and after I love my mascara routine hope you guys do too I'll see you guys next time